Hi everybody. I just got back from the makeup class. Now, oh my god. <laughs> you guys. Uh, let me fix you guys first before anything. Okay. You, you guys. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Okay. Now. I don't even I'm speechless. I've never been speechless on my channel before. Oh my god. Okay, so I just got back from the makeup class. I decided to film it tonight because I'm like, you know, let me get out of the way. I got my makeup done and everything. I look nice. So like why not just get out of the way tonight? But girl, there's a lot to get through. A lot to get through. First of all, I have two different giveaways coming at the end of the video. So there's gonna be two different winners. Just putting that out there. But yes, okay. So as you all know, I'm a VI I was a VIP member. There was three different tickets. General mission, VIP, ultra VIP. I got the VIP. In fact, the ultra VIPs are probably still at the hotel um, chatting it up with Jeffrey and Lipstick Nick because I literally just got back from the class. So um, they're probably sipping champagne with them right now. Um, I have a lot to talk about about this class. There was some things I didn't like, but overall there was so many things that I loved. So, first of all, you get in, you do wait, um, it was like, tw they were, the show was supposed to start at 12. You do wait a good half hour before they come in. So the reviews were true. You do wait a good half hour. They don't start at 12. They start at 1230. I'm just letting everyone know who wants to take the class. It does not start on time. That's not a big deal to me. But I know some people might see that as, as some type of issue. I don't know. So. But after the half, it was 1230, they come in. First of all. It's d dead silent. It, okay, it was so loud in that room, it was deafening. But before they walked in, you know, it was quiet as a church mass. You know what I mean? You could hear a pin drop. And then the lights dimmed. And you saw the people, the two ushers, go to the door. And they opened the door. And out comes the gorgeous lipstick neck and Jeffree Star. They come right out of the doors. It's like something out of, I don't even know, like, like they're literally just, like, they're Jesus Christ and we're here in heaven right now. Like, that's what it seemed like. Like, it was so spectacular. The, the, the moment when they walked in, I think, was my favorite part of the whole thing. Only because when you feel the energy in that room, it, it's like nothing you've ever experienced in your life. Nothing you've ever experienced in your life. You have to be there in that moment to feel it. It's it's like the most unbelievable, deafening moment ever. Like it's so, it, it's so earth shattering. I mean, not to be dramatic, but it's the truth. So they come in, they get on stage. Of course, Jeffrey Stutter has no makeup on, but he's in his gorgeous Balmain dress uh, and the gorgeous shoes and everything else. His ponytail, yeah, like this long ponytail, what have you. And whatever, they start telling a little backstory in the beginning, whatever, what have you. They start doing a little backstory. And then they they let us know that we can't record anymore. That we can't record we can take pictures, but we can't record the actual class of him of her doing Jeffrey's makeup. So I was like, whatever, that's not a big deal to me. So they give you a notepad and a pen. Funny enough, my pen broke. Literally, the second I opened the bag, it broke. I was like, what the hell? But luckily, I brought an extra pen in my purse. Thank God. Um, but they give you a notepad. First of all, there's a long line for the VIPs. And, like, they give you this card. You go sit in your chair. Okay, there's a couple of things I didn't like. Okay, I have to get honest, to be honest with you. Alright, I'm going to get to the things I liked and didn't like at the end. But I'm just going to give you an overall summary of what, what happened. First, so then they give you this bag that's sitting on the chair waiting for you. Okay, filled with goodies. Um, the, the, the front rows got a bunch of. Okay, so the front rows were ultra VIP, the middle rows were VIP, and the back rows were general mission. 
So, literally there was only two rows of general admission in the back of us. Literally only two. So there was there weren't many general admission uh, people there. Um, but the Ultras got the Platinum Ice... Is it Platinum Ice? No, excuse me. The 24 carat Skin First Pro Palette. They got that in their bags. With, I don't know what else, but that's what I, I know so far they got in their bags. They probably got a bunch of lipsticks and stuff too, but... And lip scrubs or whatever, whatever have you. But I'm gonna tell you what I the VIPs got in our bag later on. So they start the class and whatever. She's just like ask questions whenever you want. Like just it's an open forum. Just ask whatever you want. So everyone was asking questions and some people spoke out of turn and a lot of people were raising their hands and didn't get colds on. I saw that they were getting frustrated. The, I did make a couple of friends. I, I, I sat by these two girls and they were really cute and I really liked them and, we, and I made friends with them. And they, this one, the, the girl sitting next to me was like raising her hand and she just got fed up. She's like, they're not calling on me. So she just screamed out the question. I was like, you better go, bitch. I'm like, yes. Because you know, sometimes you gotta take your moment. You know what I mean? So she had a moment, she asked a question. I'm happy about that. And me too, I was waiting a while to like, I was raising my hand. I was like this. <laughs> I was about to like throw my legs up in the air. I don't even know. Like I was about to like just do a whole breakdown just for them to get just to get their attention to call on me. There's a couple questions I wanted to ask, but someone stole one of my questions, which I forgot what the question even was at, at this moment. I forgot what it even was. But the question I asked, and Lipstick Nick was the one who called on me, and she was like, "We'll take the guy in the." red jacket or something i'm like girl this is i didn't know who she's talking to because i this is sound but i guess all the way in the in like all the way on the stage it probably looked red but anyway she's like okay so what's your question and i said i love the both of you so much you guys are gorgeous that's number one i said then number two i was like listen i want to know would you ever do a reality jefferson would you ever do a reality show and he spilled the tea now i'm not gonna tell you all the tea he spills because they wanted the class to be secrecy and they didn't want everyone to everything to be spilled because they want everyone who takes the class to have their own experience and be surprised. So I'm not going to spill all the, the tea. I'm not like that. I'm not going to do that. But I will spill the tea on my question because it was a question I asked and I told you guys I will give you the answer that they answered from my question that I asked. So I'm, I'm going to deliver and I said I was going to deliver so here it is. So the answer was, was that... He said that he's not doing, he would never do a reality show because he doesn't like the fact that, of the editing. He doesn't like the editing on TV. He just doesn't like, he doesn't want them to edit him a certain way. He did say that he got asked to do a reality television show with Patrick Starr and a few other influencers. And they said, um, that uh, Jeffrey said that he decided not to do it because they were trying to put Patrick Starr and Jeffrey Starr against each other and just trying to calculate and trying to basically direct this feud between them on the reality show. So they didn't do it. They ended up not doing the reality show. But he did say that he's going to be in some movies, you know, guest starring in some movies. I don't know. He didn't say what movies, but he, that's what he told me. So that was his answer to my question. I did want to ask other questions, but at that point, they kept saying, listen, if you already asked the question, just let other people ask, because this is a big room and a lot of people, and if you already had your turn to ask your question, let other people get their turn. So after that, I, I didn't raise my hand again, and I, you know what I mean? Even in the question, this wasn't even the question and answer form, this was during the class. After the, the class, the VIPs and the Ultra got their Q&A session, which I was like, what's the point of the Q&A session when we're asking questions while you're doing the, the, the makeup? Well, well, we're in the makeup class, but but then when the question and answer segment came, I understood it because they sat down, they really got to really answer your questions and really delve deep. So I understood when, when uh, I understood why they um, did the Q and A at the end. Um, now, to me personally, to me, I love the class. I thought she did an amazing job. It was very helpful, but. She didn't really say anything that is going to be like, oh, well, you know, something you don't already know. You know what I mean? Like spray your setting spray on the, on the thing to to, to um, buff up the pigments. I don't know. She said, 
a lot of different things that, that we already know. You know what I mean? It wasn't anything that was like, it was like, oh, wow, we're going to learn something new. I barely took any notes. I did take some notes. I said she she did say something about a Miss Cosanova makeup brush cleaner I was interested in. She said build will give me some uh, sun from something setting spray, brush, gray pigment, whatever. I was just writing some notes, of scribbling things. Um, so after the class was over, obviously he gets up. He gets he shows his face. There was two big screens in front of the um the state in front of the stage, so you got to see him up close on the stage. This is one of the things I did not like about the class. And it was the fact that even though I'm VIP and I was VIP, I felt like a general admission ticket because I was sat all the way in the back, bitch. Literally all the way in the back. I was all the way in the back. I was dead center, so that was good. But um, I was literally all the way in the back. I was like the, one of the last, I was the last row next to like the person of the last row, last row. Like, I was all the way in the back, and I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, I thought VIP would at least be in the middle, but whatever. It is what it is. You know, you win some, you lose some. That was one of the things I did not like about the class, to be honest with you. Another thing I did not like about the class was that they treated the ultra VIP members like royalty. Which I get it. They're spending all this money. They're spending extra money, for, you know, for the class. I get it. But we're VIP, too. You know what I mean? We're still VIP, and we spent a lot of money too, and we deserve. Listen, I we got our money's worth with the with the with the makeup bag that they give us, the grab bag that they give us. I mean, we do get a steal with that. I mean, so I will say that they really do. But they were treating the ultra VIP like, like I'll tell you in okay. So, you know, they didn't want us to scream out questions and answer, uh, scream out questions, right? We have to raise our hands. But people in the front rows were screaming at questions and they didn't care. But then the people in the back rows were screaming at questions and they were just like, you know, don't do that. So I was just like, you know, I get it. So you're like catering more towards the ultra VIP, but I'm like, come on now. Like, it's like, you can't say they can scream out any question they want, but then we have to raise our hands in the back. You get what I'm saying? So that was a little, I didn't like that. That was, that was those were the two things I did not like was the fact that I sat all the way in the back and I was VIP. And the fact that they were catering towards the Ultra VIP a little too much. Especially because they are going to see them and talk to them in the cocktail hour afterwards. They're going to spend all this time with them. You know what I mean? Like, get to know the people in the back rows too. You get what I'm saying? So that was not cool at all. That was one of the, thing, the, the two things I didn't like. Other than that, everything else I loved, to be honest with you. So anyways, they leave. We got a 15-minute break after the class is... You know, after she's done teaching the class. He looks gorgeous, of course. And after 15 minutes, they come back and there's the Q&A segment. The general admission had left. Oh, no, before before the Q&A session, they, have a ra they had a raffle ticket going on. People were winning liquid frost. People were winning um, MAC, MAC makeup and all this stuff. I was hoping to win, but I didn't win anything, unfortunately. So, but oh my god, there were one of the raffles were blood sugar palette. Oh my god, I wanted to win that one so bad, but I didn't. Um, yeah. So the, the after the raffle was over, then we took the 15 minute break, and then we they did the Q and A. So they give us like a basket in the back with snacks that are free, like pretzels, chips, whatever. They have cups of water. Other than that, you don't get anything else. There's no other food or drinks. It's just water and bags of chips and pretzels. That's it. Um, but it's in this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Hilton Hotel. Like, gorgeous. It was a gorgeous hotel, and it's a gorgeous room that they had, they rented the class in. A gorgeous room with chandeliers and everything else. I have pictures and videos on my Instagram. So if you guys want to check that out, go ahead. Um, I'll show you a couple of the... I'll show you the photos in a little bit. I'm going to try to, but if you want, just look at my Instagram. So, after the Q&A segment... Um, that's when everyone's, the VIP and the Ultra get to take a picture with them. So it's a long, long line. The Ultra, v the ultra VIP goes first, then the, the beginning of the line, and then the VIP's behind them. Now, I had a problem with that too, only because I felt like they should have done the VIP first and then the Ultra, because we're leaving. Like, after our, you know, picture with them, we're going. We're, goodbye and we're going. With the Ultras, they get, they're gonna stay for the cocktail hour, so it's like... If you're going to stay for the cocktail hour, why don't you do them last 
So right after the picture, they can just go right into the room. You know what I mean? Because then I walked down, I saw them just sitting, waiting on the floor, the ultras. You know what I mean? Like the room wasn't even ready yet to go in. So I'm like, they should have done them last. They should have done that. I mean, that was another thing I was like weird about. The girl on the line while we were we were going to take the picture um they, these this girl on the line was like really shredding the class to filth shredding the class to filth she just was like oh my god like why are you giving the these lipsticks when they've been around for years like we all we already all have this shit like what the hell this this is not my money's worth blah 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 like she was just really going in i don't know if it was just her being annoyed by the waiting on the line I don't know what it was, but to be honest with you, some of it she was saying, I have to disagree. I think we got our money's worth in the grab bag, and the grab bags, we did. Okay, some of the questions that they asked in the q and I didn't even get to ask, uh, say any of the questions they asked. They were just asking questions about, um, what they think about the drama in the beauty community, what they think about um, how to start a makeup line, what, what, it, what inspired them to start a makeup line. What was other questions? Some 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 sneak peeks about the holiday collection, which I'm not gonna tell you because again, I was sworn to secrecy. Whatever stayed in that class stayed in that whatever was said in that class stayed in that that room. So it was like what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas kind of thing. So whatever was said, I'm keeping it to God's ears. You know what I mean? I'm taking it to the grave. So but he did say, give us some sneak peeks about the upcoming holiday collection. And girl, it's juicy. It's juicy. That's all I gotta say is juicy. And that's all I gotta say. So, um, yeah, there was just a lot of questions. There were really good questions and answers. And everyone was very respectful and everything. You know, everyone asked their questions and they got the answers. And they were really respectful and nice, the um, Jeffrey and Lipstick Night. They were really nice and, and cute. And they answered them very respectfully. It was really nice. Anyway, so finally we get to take the picture with them. And this is a picture. Um, so I go up to them and I'm like, oh my God, you guys are so gorgeous, blah, 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 blah. And Jeffrey goes to me, he goes, oh, you are, he was like, you are gorgeous. I'm like, I love this moment that you're doing right now. Oh my God, you are giving, you are, you are giving it for the gods. It's something he said to me. And then he he kind of like like nudged up his i'll show you the picture then after the picture was taken he says i love you so much seriously and i was like oh my god i love you too and i blew him a kiss and i laughed this was the picture i don't know if you guys can see it on camera if you can't just go to my instagram but that's the picture of us you see how he nuzzled up and then i saw his intern i love his intern i see her in a lot of his youtube videos and his intern, she's really cute. She's like, she was taking the Snapchats to me. I don't know if I'm on his Snapchat. I didn't check yet, but um, I might be on his Snapchat. Who knows? Go check. <laughs> but yeah, I saw her like taking the, the picture of us with, with a Jeffrey's phone. So maybe I'm on his Snapchat. Who knows? This is another picture I took um, just by myself. I don't know if you guys can see the pictures. Again, if you can, just go right to my Instagram, The Joe Show. 90 that is the joe show 90 and you'll get to see all the pictures okay my overall experience was so good i enjoyed it it was the most I, i'm even going to read you what i said on my instagram come on load Ooh, that this guy is hot <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I'm so. Oh my god. I'm so. How hot is this guy? I mean, seriously. I want to be. I hope you guys can see that one. Oh my god, he's so hot. Anyways, this is what I said. What an unforgettable and magical day. I feel truly blessed to have met two such amazing and beautiful people. Thank you, Jeffrey Stone Lipstick Neck, for a day I will truly never forget. And it's the truth. I will never forget it for as long as I live. On the, another thing, um, you weren't allowed, they weren't allowed to give autographs, to take autographs. I was, I brought one of my postcards that I got, like, one of the, like, I, I think it was the blood sugar palette or the thirsty palette um, postcard you get in the mail, you know, when you order stuff online. And I wanted to sign it, but they said there's no autographs, so we couldn't do that. But anyways, let me show you, let me see how much time we have. 20 minutes. Okay. So, we got time. 
We got time, bitch. We got time. Okay, so let me do the giveaway and then I'm gonna go. Cause girl. Okay. Well, let me tell you first what was in the bag. And then I'm gonna do the giveaway. And if the camera cuts off, I'll do a giveaway in, the, in a different video. But right now, we got a lot of stuff. First thing we got was the cream shop, the brightest crayon in the box. Um, I guess it's just a highlighter. It looks cute. The glow stick. It looks cute. Cute. The next thing we got, and this is very expensive. This is like $68. This is the Tatcha um, mask. Which you put um, all over your face, I guess. It's like a, just a face mask. And I love the packaging. And it smells, it smells, it's strong, but it's cute. I like the smell. It's strong though. It's really strong and fragrant. And like, it's like a purple cream. So we got that. Let me put this up. I'll put this up on the floor, whatever. Then we got, and this is cool. We got this mini wearable lighted beauty mirror. Which I guess you put it in your fingers and it lights up and it's a mirror. And, um, you know, it's cute to have in your purse to, you know, touch up your makeup throughout the day. So yeah, it's a mirror and it lights up. And you put it, you put it on your fingers and it's easy wear and everything. It's really nice. I like this one. Next thing we got was the cover fix. I'm trying to go fast because, you know, I don't have enough time. This is a primer. Got um, it's many, but we got a primer cover cover next thing we got was roller lash benefit mascara which i'm very excited because i've been wanting to try this mascara for so long jeffrey's been raving about it for so long so i can't wait to wear that mascara i'm happy that i have that mascara oh and the tatcha um face mask came with a little spoon just a little spoon with a spoon and then we got one single eyeshadow from ColourPop. It's called Come and Get It, which I thought was a cute name. It's like a shimmery gold rose shade. Very, very cute. I like that color. Next thing we got is this eyeshadow palette from Sleek, When the Sun Goes Down. The next thing we got was Gimme Brow um, Brush, which I've been wanting to try this too. I've heard great reviews about this. Basically, it's a brush you turn in, you just put it on your, your brows and it like gives you color and stuff. Really, really good. Next we got, the, I don't know what this is. It's a Tatcha, the Silk Canvas. I don't know what this is. If you guys know what this is, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's another face mask or primer or cream. I don't know what it is. I don't know what that is. It could be a face mask or concealer. I don't know. Primer. The primer. Okay. The next thing we got is full foolproof brow powder from Benefit. Then we got um, a discount code. I think on Morphe or something, or Glamour, Ricky, Ricky. I don't know. A 20% um, 20 off code, whatever, paper. Okay, the next we got a um, bunch of Jeffree Star makeup. First thing is the Androgyny palette. This will be in the giveaway. I will be talking about this. You know, I'm probably going to do the giveaway in a separate video from this. So um, stay tuned for the giveaway right after this, and I'll tell you what you guys can win. But hey, this is it. Androgyny palette. So yeah, I will probably do the um, giveaway in a different video, only because this video is very long. So yeah, we got the Androgyny Eyeshadow Palette. Then we got a bunch of lipsticks. A bunch of lipsticks. I couldn't even believe it. I just kept like, it was like Mary Poppins. Everything was a new lipstick. I was like, what the hell? Like, this is never ending. The first lipstick is Anna Nicole. We got... We got Scorpio. These are all liquid. I'm going to show you the liquid lipsticks first and then the lip ammunitions. We got allegedly, we got um, Mannequin, we got Posh Spice, 
We got um, Weirdo. We got watermelon soda, and I smelled this in, in the, the class, and it smells like watermelon Jolly Ranches. It smells so good, this lipstick. You have no idea. Designer Blood, which is another one I really wanted to try. I've been wanting to try for so long. Designer Blood. Red Rum, which I love red rum. Okay. And the rest are lip ammunitions. So the first lip ammunition is Ice Cream Boulevard. Popsicle Dream. Unicorn Blood. Starfish, which I really have been wanting to try Starfish. I have been wanting to try Starfish. Ex Supermodel. And Beauty Pageant which is the glitter, the glitter lip ammunition. Okay. And this is my raffle ticket, which I didn't win. Boo-hoo. And yeah, we got a lot of makeup. So I'm gonna do the giveaway video right now. I'm gonna film it right after this, just so we take a break and this video is not too long. But just to cap this off, I had such an amazing time. I really, really did. I love, I loved everything. This is the notepad showing that. I don't know if I showed that. Yeah. And it was the most amazing thing. I, I don't regret it, but I wish I would have gotten the Ultra ticket only because I felt like they favored the Ultra and the Ultra was like literally in the front. You got to see everything. So you really got your money's worth with the Ultra. So uh, I wish I would have gotten the Ultra, but I'm glad I got the VIP and I'm happy where I stood at the best time. I really did. If I ever did this again, it would I would get the Ultra. But I had such an amazing time. They were so, so great. I love them. They were, it was an amazing experience. It really was. I'll never forget it. I, it really was. Really, really was. Okay, so Monday. Je I guess I can say this. This isn't a secret. I mean, this isn't a secret. Monday, he told a, he told the makeup class. I don't know if he said this on Snapchat or his Twitter. But on Monday, he's going to reveal on his, on his YouTube channel. There's going to be a reveal of his... Supreme Frost highlighters and his velour lip liners. So that's coming Monday on his channel. So check that out. You probably will check that out anyways. I mean, it's Jeffrey Star. So yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching my experience at the makeup class. I hope this was helpful, this review, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I hope if you guys do purchase this ticket, this helps you out in any way because, you know, it's good to see reviews and see what other people experienced. I had an amazing time. There could have been someone who had a horrible time, but I had an amazing time. So, I love you guys so much, and, um, bye.